decided to remove a wall in her house. Now, before you remove any wall, common sense ought to tell you, you better make sure that it's not a load-bearing wall. Now, there's a couple of ways to kind of tell and get an idea, but unfortunately, there's no way to know for sure until you open it up like I've just done. That usually involves drywall and a drywall jabber, which is this tool right here, and uh, pulling it off and seeing what's behind there. Uh, the first thing, the most important, is you want to look at the roof. Go in the attic and see which way the rafters are going. Are they going this way? Which in this house they are. So in other words, if the wall is perpendicular to the rafters upstairs, not like this, but going this way, it's probably a load-bearing wall. This is not a science and it depends how old the house is. This whole house is very old. 50 years and they did things their own way probably without code in many cases. What you really need is a lot of this because it involves some prying, lots of prying and lots of leverage like this piece right here. This is the bottom half. The couple of tools you need to do a job properly, of course pry bars, lots of them. Probably should wear gloves because you never know when you're going to find a nail somewhere, a rusty nail at that, you know what they, what they say about those things. Uh, electric drill to remove some of the screws when you run into electrical outlets, which you have to be very careful with. Jabber saw, a skill saw, rotary saw, and of course a hand saw as well if you get to a place where you can't use the rotary saw. And then it's just a matter of piece by piece. Uh, it's kind of fun because <laughs> you're usually building things, so this lets you really go to town and destroy something. Good thing to do if you're just in a bad mood and you want to take it out on a wall, that's a good time to start. And of course, you want to wear really old clothes because you're going to get dirty. This is a messy job. I don't think the Communist Party's coming back in power anytime soon, so I'm wearing this uh, former Communist Party shirt. All right, well, I'm going to get started. I'll take a picture of this a little later on and let you see what kind of progress we make. And hopefully, the engineer that I sent this to wasn't joking with me and the roof doesn't collapse. But I think common sense prevails. Because, of course, uh, as I said, the rafters are going this way. Wouldn't make much sense if you think about it, because this would be the only wall holding up the ceiling, and there's only one here and one right behind the camera there, and nothing else for the rest of the house. So just common sense kind of tells me that this wouldn't be a uh, support wall. I'm going to point the camera over here and show you this wall. Now, uh, this one, I wouldn't dare take down. Of course, as we're peeling off the drywall, we're looking for cables and wire and electrical. The last thing we want to do is take a skill saw and cut into it. I suppose if you wanted to be real safe, you'd turn the power off to the house, or at least to that breaker if you know which one it is. It's probably overkill for somebody like me. I'm comfortable working around electricity, but if, if you're not, then just certainly turn off the power. Otherwise, uh, be very careful. Look and make sure you're not cutting into something like that because that will cause a nasty spark. I don't think anybody's going to be dying over it, but it's certainly not going to be a pleasant sight and why do it. It's just dumb. Oh, one other thing. Uh, you may be coming into a heat or a cold air return vent like I have down here. You've got to deal with that somehow. You've got to replace it. And remember, you know, when these places were built, they probably were built off of, well, they were certainly built off of old plans. And of course, over the years, certainly 50 years, various homeowners have come in and done their own thing. And there's no plans for that. So a lot of this is kind of see what you have as you go along. There's no real definitive way to go in with a plan like you would be if you were building something up. So it's kind of like, oh, take that apart. Oh, what's behind that? Oh, look at that. There's a wall over here, in fact, that's facing the outside with no insulation. So bonus, as I pull off this old uh, pine uh, paneling, notice that there's a few walls here that are exposed to the outside with no insulation. And where I live, that's a bad thing. So of course, when we go back, uh, and put drywall over it, we'll be putting uh, some real good insulation and that'll seal up another part of the house and save us a few bucks in the long run. So there's a plus side to all this besides just getting some extra well needed space. And of course there's exactly a 0% chance that you'll ever want to do something like this without some kind of goggles. Uh, I prefer this kind with the uh, earmuffs on there because the skill saw gets pretty loud and also the metal uh, great in front of you because the glass ones tend to get fogged and scratched and dirty so you can't hear a lot which is a good thing. Pull, let's pull it all the way up. There we go. The roof is still standing so we must have done something right. You can see the door frame and jam are all gone. The door is outside. 
It's a really nice door, so I'm probably gonna probably put it up on Craigslist to sell it. One of the things we do have to deal with is the electrical, which is now hanging from the ceiling. Uh, of course, what I'm gonna do is get it all apart, put a connector box in there, and then I'm gonna reroute it. What I'm gonna do next is take a knife and score along the edge here and then break away this piece of drywall uh, because I may want to keep it on the other side so it doesn't make a mess on the other side of the door. Well, as you can see, we've made a lot of progress. I've got a little bit of drywall to trim. I'm going to use this sawzall, put a bigger blade in because it's got a metal blade in it right now. Then we're just going to go zip it up along the top here, up there, and along the ceiling. Should have a nice clean cut on both sides. And voila, we've got our open wall. It's a matter of putting drywall up. And that's one of those things you're either really good at or you're not. You bring in a professional for 25 or 30 bucks an hour. I'm average. So uh, I may bring some help in because there's going to be some fancy cuts and angles. But that's it. Just dang, bang down the wall. And then uh, if you want, put up some new drywall. In this case, it's a great opportunity to also throw in some insulation on the outside wall. All right, well, it's the end of a long day, and clearly we can see where there once was a wall, there is not. And all we have left are some cables, some electrical cables that are live. It's a BX cable, so this is armored, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of work, electrical work, uh, to reroute the wires, as obviously we can't just leave them hanging here. My plan is to take some of the uh, wood beams that are on top here that were uh, framing the door, remove them, rerun it, and mount the switches over here and the power down below, of course, on the bottom. You may have to get an electrical permit or an electrician to do that if you're not familiar with electrical work. All right, well, it's a few hours later and we're getting to the finer points of removing the wall, some of the trim, uh, some of the boards that were put in there to frame the wall in the first place. There's some stuff up in the ceiling because this ceiling has an angle on it. There's a few uh, pieces of wood that are awkwardly put up there to accommodate the angled roof that we have. Uh, it looks like they've raised the ceiling to take maximum uh, advantage of the sloping roof. That's where the 2x4s were originally nailed onto the ceiling. That of course gave a lip for the drywall to be attached that we've removed. And there we go. And now I've created some extra space and that's going to come in real handy because that is where these wires are now going to be rerouted. Perfect. Okay, well, almost done. Uh, the hard work, the physical work. The electrical is going to take some time because I've got to cut into this BX cable, do some splices, reroute it, cut a hole in the wall, put a box in there. Boom, bang, done. Uh, weekend project, well, if you don't know what you're doing, like me and you're sort of learning as you go and you know what uh, I here's a handy tip I was I found some guys on the internet that own contracting companies who want to be famous uh, they want to be like the next Bob Vila so uh, I actually sent them a couple of pictures uh, just off my iPhone and said look what should I do next and you know within an hour I had an answer that's one way to handle it if you trust the uh, source and I think most of them you know they want they've got a reputation to protect they're trying to build up their credibility so lots of help available I guess it's a whole lot easier to remove a wall than it is to put one in you just got to make sure that it's the right kind of wall that you're going to take out because otherwise you're going to be spending a whole lot more on a roof in this case